Hey there, uh, in this video we will be learning on how to construct an FP tree uh, for a given data set. So consider this transaction data in the given data set and with this transactional data we have to construct an FP tree with minimum support as 2. So let's start. So there are couple of steps which are involved in order for us to construct an FP tree. So the first step which is needed to construct an FP tree is to find the distinct count of the items. Find find distinct count. So uh, let's draw a table. here items and count so our items are uh, a b c d e f g a b c d e f g now let's count the number of a 1 2 3 similarly b 1 2 3 uh, for C, 1, 2, 3 and for D, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, for E, uh, 1, so for E it will be 1, for F it is 1 and for G it is 1. So now we have the distinct item counts which is there for us. Now for us uh, it is given that the minimum support should be 2 so whatever uh, whichever items have uh, the counts less than 2 we can uh, just eliminate those so for us we can eliminate this because count is less than 2 ok so now we can rewrite so these these things will be eliminated now step 2 is is to write this uh, this item counts table in descending order of the count this count can also be called as support by the way So, item and support. So, the highest is D, then ABC. Four, three, three, three. So, we have written uh, all the item versus support in descending order so basically this is descending order now step 3 is to redefine the given set so we have to redefine this set according to the uh, descending order item support count which we have written now so define the given set so let's go transaction id and items one how many transactions here we have five transactions right? 2, 3, 4, 5. So first transaction we have we can redefine it as D A B C because it has all the items but, but we just need to write it in this order for this. So we see that all the items are present here and we need to write it in this, this order. So D A B C 
for second one it is EDC so D will come C will come and because E is eliminated so it is not needed similarly for third it is AB so AB for fourth transaction A C D and but as per our this thing it will come D A C and finally it is F G D B it will be D B now finally the step four is to construct the F P tree Now to construct the FP tree, we will always have a root node. Okay. Now we need to construct it like this. Uh, this will have sub points, which will be basically for each transaction ID. So let's go for transaction ID one, which will be we can call it as T one. So root and then D. From root it is D, which will have support count as one. And then it will be A, B, C. A, B, C. So basically the support count is because it has been called only once. So the support count is one. So now let's consider the transaction two, which is DC. So from root, we go D. So we see D is already there. So for D, the count will increase, and then C. So from D to C, there is no direct connection. So we need to draw another item set C, and it will have the count as one. Now let's go for Third, which is A. So we see there is no direct uh, connection from root to A. So from root, we need to create a new branch with A as the node, and it will have support count as one. Now we need from A it is B. And B will also have support count one. Okay. Now we go for transaction four, which is D A C. So we already see there is D. So we just need to increase the support count to three. We see A. So we need to increase the support count as two, and it is C. So from A to C. So we will see the term support count becomes one here. And finally for transaction five it is D B. So from D there is no. So D. So basically the. Support count will become as four, and from D we have to go to B. So we went to B and we made the support count as one. And so this is our final tree, and we see all the support counts will be equal to this. So let's see for D. So we see that the support count for D is four. For B, next is for A. A we will see support count as one, so three. So one, one plus two is three. For B it is three. So let's see for B one, two and three. And finally C also it is three. So one, two, three. So we see uh, these are the steps through which you can construct an FP tree for a given data set. Hope this video helps uh, you to construct an FP tree for any given data. do like and subscribe this channel for more videos like this